Hello, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for viewing my videos today. I'm in beautiful London here in England and I'm inside the world famous British Museum. And of course you recognize the place where I am at. I'm at the world famous Parthenon Galleries here at the British Museum. Always a very crowded and a very loud place to be at. Now, when Lord Elgin took the Parthenon marbles away from Athens and brought them to England, he didn't just remove marbles from the Parthenon alone, he also removed a lot of marbles or the friezes from the Temple of Nike from the Acropolis in Athens. Now, the Temple of Nike was a different temple, a little far from the Parthenon and standing on the southern side of the hill of Acropolis. So Lord Elgin did a very good job removing the friezes and they are displayed here at the British Museum and they are often overlooked because they are in a very obscure place of the British Museum. We're not going to make this obscure anymore. We're going to go visit the marbles and the friezes and I will explain to you what they stand for, what they depict. Come on, let's go. This is a tour of the friezes and of the marbles of the Temple of Nike from the Acropolis of ancient Athens. Let's go. Now, in, in order for us to understand where these friezes came from, the ones that we're going to look at in a minute, we need to understand the design of the Acropolis. Now, the temple that you see right there in the center is the Parthenon that was completed around 432 before Christ. And after the Parthenon was completed, the Greeks, the Athenians, started construction on another much smaller temple, the Temple of Athena Nike or Nike, right there. A much smaller temple measuring 8 meters by 6 meters in size. Here's a picture of what it would look like. Right there, looking from the side where the Parthenon is and towards the port of Piraeus or Piraeus or the Strait of Salamis, the island of Salamis. Now, right on top, on the top layer of the Temple of Nike, you can see the friezes. These are the friezes that were removed by Lord Elgin in 1816 along with the Parthenon marbles. And these are the friezes we're going to look at right now. Right there, the top layer of the temple, you can see the friezes. And let's go check them out right now. They are here, right behind me. And quite often overlooked because everybody goes next door to the Parthenon marbles and misses these very important marbles from the Acropolis. Now there were two sets of friezes on the Temple of Nike, one in the front and one in the back. Each of the sets was located in about four beautiful ionic columns and each one of them depicted different battle scenes. Let's go look at them carefully. Come on. Okay, let's look at two of the friezes here from the south side of the temple. And here we are looking at scenes from the Battle of Marathon in 490 before Christ between the Athenians and the Persians. Now we do know that the Persians are depicted here with tight dresses as you see here around the legs especially. Here's another Persian right here and the Greeks are depicted as nude fighters fighting nude. You can see a dead Persian right there. see here another Greek delivering the final blow to a fallen Persian right there. You can see his raised arm delivering the blow. And let's go to the next freeze. Here you can see a Greek soldier fighting with a Persian. 
here's an interesting part of the frieze. Here's a Greek soldier. He has grabbed the Persian by the hair and he is ready to deliver the blow to kill him. Here's another Greek soldier right here, a fallen Persian. <coughs> and he is fighting a man riding a horse here. Here's another scene between a Greek on the right and a fallen Persian on the left. Here you go again, scenes from the Battle of Marathon 490 before Christ on the southern frieze of the Temple of Nike or Nike in Acropolis. <laughs> Now, the other two friezes quite possibly show us a battle between the Greeks. It's a generic battle, quite possibly. These are generic battle scenes. You can see a fallen Greek right here. He's trying to cover himself with a shield. Here's a Greek soldier getting ready to throw the javelin. Another one that has fallen right here. And more scenes of the battle continue here between the Greeks. You see a fallen soldier here as well. This one is defending himself with a shield. Here's another one defending himself with a shield. So on. Here's a general view of all four friezes, priceless from the Temple of Nike from ancient Athens, brought here to England in 1816 by Lord Elgin. This is Vic. Thank you for joining me all the way from the British Museum. Bye-bye.